We all know that 2020 is highly anomalous, especially if you compare it to Earth 20 years ago or 40 years ago, or technically 100. And so we're days away from now all of the planets being on the same side of the sun and many of them super bunched up so that it's like they're I mean they're in like a conga line almost like look at that in the same little you've got Mercury Earth Venus Mars Ceres Jupiter Saturn Pluto all lining up coming together racing towards Neptune that's pretty amazing and so this is a much bigger story and will probably be a, the big story over the next thousand days all of these planets much bigger than just earth you know and I spent like 97 percent of all my time since late 2016 in this foxhole making videos getting everybody up to speed for 2020 and now the second half of 2020 and just out of everything like where will I be in December the two big roadmaps we're looking at here are the 4th of July where will earth find its heart soul and freedom again will we see the emergence of rock and roll and then December 21st 2020 when Jupiter and Saturn are going to be aligned and then everybody's gonna be mostly over here um, you know that whole period is gonna be very major and everybody's life in every, every which way will loose so I've been in a foxhole for like way over a thousand days and I just can't wait for good times to return again. I miss hanging out with people, being outside, seeing the stars. Yeah, having a drink and I smoke. I didn't know if you know that, but it's true. I've been blessed and lucky throughout my whole life, though we all go through seasons. And I definitely think it's best to stay cool, have a sense of humor, and be grateful for all that we have today. And as your planetary defense commander, Star Lord Nuthor 7, the T. Earth is not going to end on my watch. Good times will return again. Granted, the next year and a half to two years could be rough as all the old systems are disassembled and we build a new way of life. That's just how it is. It's called evolution, man. And I've been a beer drinker since I was like 15. I was born from two Wisconsin families in Illinois, Chicago. So, or about an hour north. So, yeah, it'd be nice to have a beer drinking, smoking summer, like old school with new rock and roll, whether it be this year, next year, or the year after that. I want to build new cities and new symphonies. Yo, and so I will stay optimistic that through all the craziness, the next five to ten years are going to offer us all, we're going to make it through. We're going to survive the worst the universe throws at us. And so I've been lucky enough to be surrounded by some really cool, really talented, really smart, really funny, really wise, really caring good people my whole life and I hope to carry on that great grand tradition so yes I too miss the days before late 2016 when I used to leave the house a lot and hang out with a lot of cool people because there's nothing I love more than great people good times and good conversations and I'm probably looking back because you got like Pluto retrograde Saturn retrograde Jupiter retrograde and then you got Mercury going retrograde and then Neptune's gonna go retrograde and Neptune is the one where like everybody kind of loses their mind when Neptune goes retrograde so you're gonna have to be your best inner superhero my friend 
This is Robert Forster, one of the coolest guys and best actors this Earth has ever seen. This is Irvin Kirshner, the guy who directed uh, The Empire Strikes Back. This is me getting punched by Mr. Forster. Just think of how much stronger and cooler and smarter and wiser and more talented we are now than we were in 2012 or even 2007. We're a pretty strong generation X-Men. Gen X, baby. But yeah, the astronomy and the astrology and the prophecies and the... Um, and all the guesses. Say earthquakes and war, possibly aliens, volcanoes, strange happenings in the sky. But I think we're going to make it through. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to have to make a choice. You know, do you want to be a good person who treats other people well and helps improve the world we're in uh, to live and create an amazing decade, two decades, three decades together? Or do you just want to sit on your thumb and be like, everything's going to be horrible, the devil's going to win, and the world is going to end? Yeah. I guess people like saying, hey, the world's going to end and the nihilists are going to destroy everything. And I'm going to give you a YouTube comment about it, Thor. And, you know, it's a free country, so. But yeah, be prepared for craziness, man. The devil may come and test you personally. It's happened to me quite a few times in my life. I made it through every time. But yeah, this is going to be a big deal when all the planets are all over there. And this whole side is totally empty. See that? It's all emptiness. It's crazy. Like, see that? that look at you go all, like. There's nothing. Like, the whole section is all empty. Empty. Look at that. And then here they all are. And not only are they that frame, you know, frame. Boom. You got all these ones. Some of my favorites, by the way. In a row. That is so cool. And there's so much about this we don't know. Everybody likes to think they're an expert on all the earthly topics. But few people really like to admit how little we know and understand about the entire solar system around us. But I am pretty convinced that this is all interconnected. Just like Earth is one big family, the whole solar system is one big family. So I'm on the team of the cool good guys. And it would be great if you joined us. And I'll love you either way. All right. God bless everyone. Stay cool. And get ready for a wild summer. Hit the button, baby. And can I please have a good hug? All right. At the right time, in the right environment, under the good circumstances, of course.